welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and see what's going on with your love life i'm doing this for the month of february because this is the month of love so i'm pretty sure that some of you guys want to know what's going on with your love life and whatnot so let's get straight into it any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description so just check there i have so many love forecasts that are available for the month of february and are actually half off so take advantage of that until i believe the 15th of february so let's get started i'm going to be using my angel answers deck first and let's see what your angels have to say what's the energy around my libra's love life at the moment What's the energy around my Libra's love life? Okay. So we have there's something better. We have look for a sign. And we also have improving health. All right, so let's go ahead and discuss these three first. So right off the bat, Spirit is saying what you guys have been experiencing in love is been pretty much the bare minimum or not in alignment with your personal worth. A lot of you have been putting your personal worth on the back burner for the sake of preserving a relationship. And for my singles, this also feels like while you may be questioning like, dang, what's going on with my love life? When are things going to start to shift for the better spirit has something better in store for you it's just it hasn't been brought into your life yet hasn't been revealed to you yet so hold off be patient before you start giving the universe grief and whatnot because your divine person hasn't manifested yet it's just spirit is trying to prepare you for something that may be better than what you've ever experienced and if your energy is not in alignment then you could push it away I also get the energy of you guys needing to be aware of synchronicities or things that you're noticing if your intuition is like ringing off about certain things and you're noticing that your person is moving different that's something you want to take note of because more things may be revealed down the line in regards to that okay also like while you guys may be in this energy of being unsure whether or not you should continue to deal with someone spirit is going to show you the signs of whether or not you should interact with this person based off of events that take place if it's not meant to be spirit may do things to kind of uh separate this person from you if it's meant to be then you may see different results manifest in terms of this connection and things may start to get better for you guys but look at the signs hmm. all right let's keep going let me use these we have the what is this the romance angels all right so angels what's the energy around my libra's love life okay i have getting to know each other but it did come out in reverse We have soulmate. Yes, this is a soulmate. And we have separation. Okay. So for my singles, I do see you guys getting to know someone new. Like I said, someone new is going to come in if they haven't came in yet. If they haven't revealed themselves yet, they're going to come in. And spirit wants you to really take your time with this connection. Don't rush into anything. Really take your time to get to know who you're dealing with because this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. And depending on how this connection is built in the beginning, depends on whether or not it's long lasting or not. Okay. Spirit can send you a soulmate all day, it can send you divine love all day. But if it falls apart, it falls apart. You know, we still have free will. I also see that some of you guys may be trying to, like I said, really see what your person of interest their intentions may be you may be kind of unsure on whether or not you should cut them off or not you guys have been dealing with each other for a while and now you could be really just filling them out and seeing like hmm can i really trust them can i open all the way back up to this connection after we've broken up and i've gotten my space 
and I've realized that I miss this person. Okay. So let's see what the advice is for you. What's the advice for my Libras when it comes to their love life? So I have the hangman in reverse and I have the world card. Let me show you. So point blank period, the advice from your spirit guides, you may be needing to change your perspective in regards to your love life in general. If you are single, this is needing to maybe have more of an optimistic view on your love life so that you can manifest new love. A huge proponent as to why you could be running into so many issues in regards to love is the fact that you could be someone who's more so negative when it comes to love. Or you may not be seeing the perspective of maybe the type of people you're entertaining may be not so good for you and you may be needing to be aware of what you're attracted to uh, or what you attract. But with the world card, it's like you guys have gone through enough lessons and spirit has purposely put you through certain lessons so that you can learn valuable um, lessons in regards to dating and how to weed out people who have really good intentions and who don't. To weed out people who aren't in alignment with you and how to more so connect with people who are. But let's see what your current love interest may be feeling in regards to you so libras their love interest how do my libras love interest truly feel about my libras let's see so i have the eight of wands the six of wands and the queen of wands so a lot of fire energy you could be dealing with the aries sagittarius or leo but how they feel they really want to move beyond the rough patches you guys have already went through they feel like a lot of the problem with this relationship being successful is the fact that sometimes you may do things that makes them upset or they do things to make you upset take this reading how it applies there could be also heated exchanges that go too far. Things said out of the heat of the moment. Okay. This could also be like somebody being so focused on their career that they're not giving enough effort or energy to the relationship. So that could also be a problem here as well. They may feel like you're too career oriented or they're so focused on their career that they're not giving you all of them. I'm also seeing something here about the sexual energy. It may have started to dwindle a little bit and they're kind of missing that. They could also feel like sometimes the energy's off with the relationship and that's something that kind of troubles them and makes them question whether or not you really want to be with them still. All right, take this reading on applies. How does my Libras feel about their love interest? I have the eight of coins the star card in reverse and the hangman in reverse so another hangman card has came up and in reverse as well so how you feel you're in a space to where like you've been willing to put work into this no brainer it's just things are not seeming to get better with the star card in reverse you may have never healed from some things that they put you through like infidelity uh, questioning the state of the relationship, ghosting you, whatever it is that they've done to you in the past, you've never fully healed from it. I mean, on the surface, you're able to move forward, but below the surface, subconsciously, it's still affecting you. And with the hangman in reverse, you're in a space to where you don't want the energy to seem extremely stagnant in this connection anymore. And you're seeking understanding and you feel like the only way for you to move forward is to get understanding in regards to the things that you've never healed from. You could be also losing faith in them or losing a level of trust in them because every time you guys go on break, they seem like they're off doing their own thing and entertaining other people. So it's just a lot that's going on. I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope you took something from this reading. And of course, if you want a personal love reading, check out the information listed in the description. 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye Libras.